From the Action News Jack's First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Corey Simmas. We're going to see a bit more cloud cover on Friday as onshore winds continue. Despite the clouds, our temperatures are going to be a little more mild. We still have a high risk for rip currents out at our beaches. And with the clouds streaming onshore, there may be a brief shower here or there. The best shot of that will be well to the south of Interstate 10, as most spots are going to be dry for Friday and Saturday. But we are still tracking the rough seas and surf with those east East northeast winds. Even though we're going to see some clouds today, temperatures will still get up near 70 near and south of I-10. We're going to be in the mid 60s up in southeast Georgia. We may see a peak or two of sun through the day today, but it will generally be on the cloudy side. Inland spots still near and south of I-10 will be in the upper 60s and then we'll be in the mid 60s in southeast Georgia. It'll be a few degrees warmer than yesterday and this is a warming trend. It's not a big time warming trend, but we're going to go from the low 60s earlier this week and the upper 50s into the 70s for the weekend. So tomorrow will be 72 and then Sunday we're 73 and even Christmas Day is actually looking OK from a temperature standpoint. How about travel? Today is generally looking OK. There are three areas that I'm watching. There's a weak disturbance lifting up from the plains. That means a little bit of rain for the Midwest and up around the Great Lakes. That just looks like some wet roads and wet runways. There is a system moving into the Pacific Northwest and there may be some snow with that one. And then there is another system lifting up over the desert Southwest. Delays don't look like it's going to be a big problem out there across the, the country. For Friday and into Saturday, you still see a lot of the green plains out there. That means delays are at least looking more like we aren't going to see a lot of delays. There is a developing system, though. This is a second storm system that will be lifting up from the Rocky Mountains and into the plains, and that's going to bring us a threat for inclement weather by Christmas Eve and day. So there's that disturbance taking shape on Sunday. That's Christmas Eve. It has a decent amount of rain with it and potentially some snow in the northern plains. And then a warm front that's going to lift up through northeast Florida and southeast Georgia is going to help trigger scattered showers and maybe even a rumble of thunder or two here on Christmas Day. Unfortunately, the wettest day between now and the end of next week looks to be Christmas Day. There will be a couple of showers in the morning, but then we'll have some off and on showers through the day. Temperatures still won't be bad. We'll be in the 60s and 70s for afternoon highs, but you got to factor rain into your plans.